Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at the Canna Kit for the Raspberry Pi 4 Starter Kit. That's right, it has just about everything you'll need except a monitor, keyboard, and a mouse. Let's take a quick glimpse at everything that comes in the kit. You'll want to stick around to the end of the video where we actually run it through a stress test comparing the heatsink versus the heatsink with the fan. So let's get started. So let's take a look at everything that comes in the kit. The kit includes a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with 4 gigs of RAM, a 32 gig Samsung micro SD card with noobs pre-installed, premium high gloss Raspberry Pi 4 case with a fan and heat sinks, the Canna Kit USB-C power supply, a micro HDMI to HDMI cable at 6 feet, and a USB card reader. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's in the box. All right, let's see here. What have we got? Looks like we got the fan. There's the can of kit fan. A couple of inserts here. Read me first. Yeah, use HDMI zero. Okay, we'll do that. And speaking of HDMI, there's the cable for it. Comes with a micro SD card with noobs pre installed, a Samsung. Here we have the case. Let's take a quick look. That's a nice little case. Cool. We'll have fun putting that together. Now we have the Raspberry Pi itself. Well, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Note that this is the 4 gig unit. And here we have the GPIO pins right here. Over here, this is for your external display and power and your HDMI connections here. You can have two. And this is for your AV cable. And then over here is your USB 2 and your USB 3.0 and your gigabit ethernet. On the back side, we have the micro SD slot. Cool. Now we'll take a look at the USB-C power supply. Now this particular unit didn't have the on-off switch. Yours probably will, so make note of that. You'll, yours will probably have the on-off switch when you order it. And here we have the micro SD card reader, in case you don't already have one. And these are the heat sinks. More on that in just a moment. And here's the quick start guide. You'll want to be sure and take a close look at that. There's some good information in here. Now let's go ahead and put this kit together. We'll go ahead and start with the Raspberry Pi 4 itself and put the heat sinks on. Now keep in mind, the larger heat sink goes to the CPU, which is the larger silver area. The elongated one goes to the RAM. And the smaller one goes to the USB controller over here. So you just take the backing off. And once you do that, place it right in the center of the chip. Like so. Give it a little push. Make sure it's nice and secure. And we'll do the same for the memory. Put the heatsink on over the memory chip. And we'll do the same for the USB controller. Give it a good little push too. There you go. Good deal. All right, now we'll go ahead and I'll show you while we have it out of the case how to put the fan on. Basically, you have these two wires, red and black that need to go on the GPIO. So you place the red one here and 
the black one right beside it. There you go. Now we'll go ahead and install the Raspberry Pi 4 into the case. To do that, you want to pop out the bottom of the case. And make sure you line everything up properly. You'll see a little slot over on the far right. Make sure not to put the micro SD card in the Raspberry Pi before you attempt this. But there you go. You can see where the micro SD card does go once we're done assembling the case. And then we'll just place this middle section over it. it snaps right in. And we'll go ahead and affix the fan to the top. And it just pops in as well. Make sure you don't pinch the wires there. Get them out of the way. Put the top on. And now we have our Raspberry Pi 4 all assembled. Be sure and look at the links down below. I will put links to where you can pick up this kit as well as a few additional accessories which I think might be useful for you. So now we can go ahead and take that micro SD card and pop it into the case. So we'll slide that into the micro SD slot. Like so. At this point it's just a matter of plugging in the rest of the cable so we'll go ahead and plug the USB-C cable in. And then we'll take the smaller end of the HDMI cable and plug it into HDMI 0. And now we'll go ahead and plug in a keyboard. This is the official Raspberry Pi keyboard. We're going to go ahead and plug it into the USB 2.0 ports, which are on the left. And we'll go ahead and plug in the mouse as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we'll hook up the monitor. This is the John Will 15.6 inch monitor. I'll put a link up above if you're interested in checking it out. Makes it very handy, especially for the Raspberry Pi 4. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and boot it up and select Raspbian. And to make it a little easier for you to see throughout the rest of the video, I'm going to switch over to the MyGeeka. It's my video recorder. And after a brief delay, this will go ahead and fully install. I say a brief delay, it took probably a good five minutes or so. All right, once it's done, you boot up. Welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and change the time zone. I'm in the central time zone, so I'll go to Chicago. Tell it to use the US keyboard and hit next. And once it sets the location, then we'll enter a password, hit next. And now it's going to search for our Wi Fi networks. So we'll go ahead and select ours, which happens to be Lucas. Hit next, give it the Wi-Fi password, and it'll connect. And it'll try and perform an update here. In this case, if it fails, uh, don't worry about it. We're just going to hit OK here. And then go ahead and click Restart. And once done, there you go, Raspbian is installed. For this video, I wanted to do a stress test. Basically to compare how well it performs without the fan running. So I'm unplugging the power to the fan and I'll put the top back on the case. And we're gonna run a stress test. And it's going to go out there and check the temperature before and during, it's gonna run for about 15 minutes. And what you see here, are the temperature changes during that 15 minute time frame. I'm going to speed it up a little bit and notice at 2 minutes and 42 seconds into the stress test it started throttling the CPU. So you definitely want to put a fan on this thing if you're going to run the stress test. And look at that 85 degrees, it got hot. So now we're going to replace the fan wire in here. So now the fan's running 
and we're going to go ahead and repeat that test. Also keep in mind I will put in the description of the video below the exact commands that I ran for this test. All right, so now it's at 45 degrees Celsius and we're running it again for another 15 minutes. And the hottest it ever got with the fan running was 66 degrees Celsius. There are more stringent CPU tests that you can run. However, I think this test was a good fit. Overall, I was very pleased with this overall kit. I wish mine had the on-off button on the power switch, but uh, <laughs> that's okay. No big deal. It's pretty clear if you do get this kit, be sure to install the heat sinks and use the fan. It will definitely keep your Raspberry Pi 4 running much better. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And with that, we'll talk to you very soon.